What's going on, people? Welcome back to my personal channel. Welcome back to another Q and A. Now, I've been running out of content too, so I said let's go for a Q and A with as little football-related questions as possible because the last couple have been very football-heavy, and I want to try and talk a bit more about myself. So let's go straight into the questions. First question, I think it's from Jordan again. He says, what market did you buy your Gucci belt from? You're a dickhead. First off, this was not a market bought Gucci belt. I know which one you're talking about because you always see me in every time I'm wearing jeans. I get it. I wear it a little bit too much. But if you bought it, then you might as well use it. First off, it's not a market. Gucci Westfield. Nowhere else. That's all. Gu Gucci Bush Market, you waste, man. <laughs> How much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood? I don't know. What would you a lot. <laughs> three? Four? <laughs> God knows. I mean. Yeah, three, four. You get to go anywhere you want with one friend of the Chelsea group. Who and why? This is such a Chino's question. <laughs> this is such a Chino's question. Sorry, man. It ain't even you. You know, because it's the only thing we took him down, right? We were trying to get him to step. We were trying to get him to look into the red light district, cause, well, we were trying to get him a little something for his night. I promise you, the guy looked the other way. The guy wouldn't try anything. We tried giving him edibles. We tried giving him a little zoo or something. It's Amsterdam. If there's one place where you get to try it, it's Amsterdam. What did he do in Amsterdam? Nothing. The guy we, we went tried. to watch Ajax Chelsea, and that was about it. <laughs> So, yeah, if I'm if I'm going down with anywhere, I'm either going down with Talika or I'm going down with Jack. Because those are the only two where I know I'm actually going to do all the shit that I want to do. So, yeah, it's down with either of them two. So next question. Lawrence, by the way, shout him out. I ain't seen you in ages. We're going to we're gonna link up for buying at home as well. What's your sleeping pattern? God knows. I make that shit up as I go along. It just depends on how much work I've got. I mean, I, I literally woke up to the ZH news being announced yesterday. And I think that was about 6 p.m. I put one tweet saying, this is great news to wake up to. And I got like 20 people replying saying, you're waking up at fucking 6 p.m. But I'm not even used to, I'm not even not used to that anymore because it all depends on the work I've got. This last year has been killing me. Running a fan channel on one side, doing my last year of uni as well. I've got two documentaries I've got to do on the other side. As you can see here, we're literally trying to build a podcast and everything. I'm trying to build my future when I come out of here. So sleep's the last thing on my mind. The one thing I've learned coming out of uni, if you can dash sleep out and just get all the work <laughs> you need to do, then just get it done. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that means I'll go through days where I've had like two hours sleep in about three days. But here's the thing. If you can get a little 20 minute kip here and there, then you don't really need to do anything. It's a little cheat code, isn't it? <laughs> all you really need is a bit of sleep, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes here and there, bar that. Don't really need that much. I don't even know what my pattern is. I don't know what time I'm going to sleep tonight. I don't even remember what time I went to sleep yesterday. So that just says how fucked it is. Drink a choice at a pub. <laughs> a pitcher, probably. Um, yeah. yeah pitcher, long, you, look, you look like a Long Island iced tea. You like off, one of those. I need spoons. something big with a lot of alcohol in it. <laughs> I, I don't like buying pints only because pints are hella overpriced. I'm thinking if I want to get fucked, I might as well get something big that can just do it in one go. Or maybe even in two goes. If, it, if they were selling magnums or red labels or shit like that, I'd probably go and get that. But all they have there is just bare dark fruits at like £5 a price or something overpriced because we live in London. So I'm going to just stick to pictures. Why did you leave 100% Chelsea? I don't know, you know. Here's the thing, I got this question answer so much. It, this is Sammy, by the way, he's trying to shit star. Where do you see yourself in five years? Main goal in life. Hopefully running a YouTube channel full time because that's been the aim from the start. That's what I got into YouTube to do. I wanted to run a fan channel and make it full time because I think that's the future of media. Yeah, it's had a bit of a slow start and now we had to do it again on another channel. But now we're doing it properly. Now it's been done professionally. And I think, yeah, this is somewhere that could go places. Main goal in life, I want to just say be successful but happy. Only because if I'm not enjoying myself while I'm doing what I want to do, then there's no point to it. The whole point, reason why I got into fan media is because I enjoyed it. I like the concept of it. I like the fact that I can vlog and look back at my own memories. It's all shit that I enjoy doing. It might be a bit long, but at least I'm enjoying myself while I do it. So that's the main thing, I think. Happiness while being successful. Because if you, if you have one without the other, then it's just not going to work out. What did you do for A-levels and recommendations for leave, for living away at uni? 
I didn't even do A-levels. I did like a little sport B-tech. I got a double distinction star and a distinction out of it. Here's the thing. I'm not really an exam sort of guy. I'm not going to remember shit. I hated GCSEs with a passion because all it was was just constant exams or you had to memorize shit. And I, I don't remember none of this shit now. Don't remind me about history. I swear to God. <laughs> history was my favorite result exam and that was the only one where i thought i was actually gonna properly bang out and get a good result and i even fucking failed that i don't do gcse's i don't i don't like exams they're not for me I, the one thing i liked about btech is it was all coursework based so i still i still keep the knowledge that i learn that's the yeah, thing because you, you learn I mean, it you practically do... and then you do it in, and then you got to talk about it for coursework yeah you, when you're doing exams all it is is just them literally pressing information to your head and they're just saying remember this because you need it in a couple months <laughs> and even then most of the stuff i've learned i don't use it now i mean trial and improvement ain't helped me now <laughs> what's trial and improvement exactly <laughs> as soon as you get out of secondary school just focus on doing the shit you want to do because I did sports B tech and I'm not even doing anything that's really sports related. I'm now on the media side of things. It's now all depends on you finding out what you want to do. Now, recommendations for living away at uni. Bro, it's the best three years of your life. <laughs> Just live it. Honestly, don't do anything else. Don't get stressed about it. You might be a bit worried thinking you're going to be away from all your boys. You're going to be away from your family. Or you're all by your own. I promise you, okay. as soon as you step foot into uni, all of that goes away and you're just thinking, I'm here now, I just want to enjoy myself. The first week you spend in uni, Freshers Week, just chat to everyone, do as much events as you as you can do, socialise, just get to know everybody. I promise you the first year could be the best year of your life. The second two years might be a little bit tougher because then it actually matters. Let's be real, first year of uni, you only need 40% and to just move on. So if we're being honest, first year you can just take the piss. Your parents won't like hearing that, but it's the truth. You can just take the piss, it don't matter like that. So for recommendations for living at uni, just be out there. Cause I've seen, a, I used to live with, there was a couple of people I used to live with. They always used to just stay in their rooms and just be bare ante and shit. And here's the thing, you can't do that in uni. You gotta take it for what it is. Cause after those three years are gone, that's all you're looking back, in, back at. Cause you're just getting kicked out into the real world. And the real world, probably a bit shit. I'm getting kicked down to the real world in a couple months and I'm shitting myself for it because this has been the best three years I've had in my life by a mile. So just enjoy it. Next question. Do you like drill music? Yes, but I'm not going to call anyone out specific. I, I'll be real. Here's the thing with drill. I don't want to shout anyone out because half the people got beef with other people. I don't want to start any sort of shit. And also because drill music is more the same. And I remember that because I, I play, no one likes me on speakers because all I play is drill music. And they always say the same thing. You can only hear about people getting stabbed for a certain amount of time. And then after that, it's just the same old music again and again and again. I guess it's repetitive, but shit, it's all I listen to. Hey. When drills turn, yeah, exactly. I listen to a lot. You, you got to wave through it, innit? Like... If, if I had to say anyone right now, I'd probably say OFB. By the way, free up SJ. It's all peak. But OFB, yeah. Jeez. Who do you think Chelsea will sign in the summer? Well, ZH now. That's the first one gone. Um, who else? I'd like to see us sign Sancho. If we sign Sancho, Sancho and ZH, we've got some serious balls on us and the old Chelsea's coming back. But I think that's probably going to be that's it for all we're going to do in the summer for a right wing. I think we're definitely going to get another striker. Love to see Timo Werner, but I'm, I'm asking a lot out of Chelsea. That's the one thing I'll say. I, I want to see us get a new left back. I want to see us get a centre back, striker, maybe another winger. Other than that, I'm good. Other than that, I'm good. Starting UCFB in September. What are your honest thoughts of it? <laughs> <laughs> see i can't say too much this is the thing because they'll come back to me about it well, how, how do i twist this it's a new it's uni very easy. yeah it's I, very simplistic. i'm not gonna say easy this year's been killing me not uh, easy just simplistic first year definitely first year is a walk in the park i'll say you can get a lot of contacts out of it and i think the opportunities that it can give you are mad if you go looking for them. But what I'll also say is that it's also a new uni and there's a there's a bit of teething problems. I'll, I'll just say that. I'll just say 
that. There's some areas where it could improve on. I'm not going to lie, the student life could be a lot better. And I can be honest about that because I'm in my third year now and I've barely seen anything. But it's an improving uni. I will give it that. It's a vastly improving uni and there's no other uni like it. Let me just leave it at that and, and move not on. About girls. Oh, girls? UCFB, what girls? There's a ratio of like 90 to 10 there. If you're going there looking for girls, it's peak. Favorite TV shows? God knows. I even watch TV. Netflix. Oh, yeah, we'll go on Netflix. I'm about, I'm like this close to finishing power. We've got the last episode left. I think we got halfway through it. Yeah, it's gonna be mad. I can't. <laughs> I've read, I've, I've got like a little bit spoiled for me already. Whoa. What? What do you say? Oh my God. You just say, what's that? <laughs> I thought I was bad. We I watch don't... a lot of documentaries. <laughs> mm. Crime documentaries and that. Yeah, we watch a lot of crime documentaries and like, things like that. Do you still watch Crime Watch? Do I still watch Crime Watch? I don't even remember the last time I've seen that. Why, have you seen me on there or anyone else we know? <laughs> no, no, no. I thought you were about to lead into something like that. Who was that stealing them Burger King cups years ago? Fuck it. Yeah. No, no. Right, next question. What's Sophie's number? I'm not telling you, you thirsty fuck. I know you dickheads in the comment section. I'm not even reading the other questions you lot tried to ask. Which is your favorite NXT superstar? I don't know, you know, because there's a couple right now. Keith Lee, Keith Lee's hard right now. I can't even lie. For a big guy, he moves like mad. But I'll probably go Adam Cole. I liked Adam Cole even from the indies. And I wanted to see him coming up in the WWE. He's doing a madness up in NXT. I'm just waiting for him to come up. So, yeah, I'm going to go Adam Cole. Probably put out the whole Undisputed Era. But still, Tommaso Campa's hard. Johnny Gargano's hard. Finn Balor, since he's gone down, is hard. And I'm not going to lie. NXT is hard in general. And it's, it's, the, it's the best period it's been at since 2015. With the, with the R Evolution series. Bruv, the women's section is mad. It's not as mad as it used to be. Because, like, still, the Force Horsewoman was NXT at its peak. Mm. Yeah, all of them, man, innit? Well, women. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Is London blue? I guess so, innit? Is Arsenal shit? Is North London bottle jobs? Are we the best team in London? Are we the only team in London with the European Cup? I could keep going, but yeah, <laughs> yes. London's blue and I'm not hearing anything else about it. Guna's sharp. Ever had to fight after a game? Not really, you know. Here's the thing. People really overrate what, like London derbies and shit. Like, has, it, people say it's dangerous. It's only really dangerous if you put the danger on yourself. I mean... If, me, no, for me it's different. For me it's different because half of that, because when it comes to Tottenham and Arsenal West Ham, half of them fuckers already know who I am. Yeah, but like for me, I'm fine. For like fans in general, as long as you stay out of trouble, you're usually fine. If you're not involved in it, they're not really going for you in the first place. You're just standing there doing your thing. Me, on the other hand, Arsenal always fine. They ain't gonna do shit, so I don't care. Tottenham away, hoodies up, hats up, everything's up because. Tottenham don't play games. The one thing I can respect about Tottenham is that their fan base do not play games. Even West Ham, I feel I'd probably be all right at. Might be a little bit dodgy, but probably be all right. Tottenham's on fuckery. We walk it out the ground and we nearly got jumped by nine Tottenham fans and I couldn't even turn around because my own face is bait enough as it is. One of our mates tried to do a Chelsea channel and we got like nine people walking up to us like, who's Chelsea? Who's Chelsea? Who's Chelsea? I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, there's nine people here. And the nine people that I'm with, it's a massacre. <laughs> if one of us says something, even if I turn around, it's like, that's that Chelsea cunt. Yeah, we're all fucked. Because some of them can hold can hold their own. Some of my boys can hold their own. I respect that. Not everyone we had. And this was about nine on nine. It's, it's not going down well. you got to know when to pick your battles. That was not the battle. But yeah, you ever been into a fight? That's probably the closest I've been to a fight. Other than that, it's just... You see fights happening around you, but it ain't really that deep. Are you an F1 fan? If so, who do you support? I couldn't know the next thing about cars. A Formula One car, even just any car walking down the road, I wouldn't know a single thing about it. Best you could get out of me is the badge. Like, bar that, I probably wouldn't have a clue other than the soft spot on the back. I just was never interested in cars going up. I don't mind playing a little racing game, playing Forza or something like that. I'm not that good at that either, but whatever. 
Yes, it's just football, wrestling, if you want to consider that a sport, but they don't even consider it, so that's your own thing. But when it comes to cars, I don't mind riding in one. It'll probably be fun, but other than that, I, I don't give a shit. I can't lie. Are you Ethiopian? Yes, but no one ever tells. Like, I get everywhere around the globe except for Ethiopia. I've got Sri Lanka, I've got Kenya, I've got Somalia, Djibouti, yeah. Sudan. <laughs> 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 Sri Lanka, India. Oh, did I say that? Well, I, I thought you were Indian when I first met you. Yeah, yeah. Most ones I get are Sri Lanka and India. I'll be yeah. lucky if someone even thinks I'm African. But yeah, I'm Ethiopian. I don't blame you for not knowing you because I'm the worst Ethiopian in the planet. I don't know the language. I barely eat the food. I was a mad fussy eater growing up. I'm lucky I've even been to Ethiopia once. Ethiopian, if you're a pure Ethiopian and you come to meet me, to meet me, you'd probably be insulted five minutes in. You'd probably be like, you have no culture about you. And I'd just be there like, I want taught. They always say it's bullshit, but my parents never taught me the language. I asked to learn Amharic. Oh, I'm I'm Harry's Ethiopian language, right? So I was like, I just kept, yeah, I was like four. I don't, I know English and that's it. But like, I was like someone I was like four or five. I just don't want to learn the language. But like, I'm not gonna ask every day because I'm four or five years old. They took, they teach me for one day and then they just forget. But I don't have to, I don't have to ask them every day. I'm a five year old. Don't you want to teach your own kid I'm Harry? They spoke to me in English. They spoke to me in English, the family. Last question. Ronaldinho or Mason Mount? Now, Ronaldinho is one of the best players in history, so I'm not even having this argument. Mason Mount. <laughs> right, guys. So this has been the end of the less football-based Q&A, but I think we dragged a little bit more into football as we went ahead. Hope you lot enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. I'm going to keep trying to give you a lot more regular content, but I'm not going to lie. Until I get out of uni, it's going to be hard. So just keep track and just follow the journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Shout out After Hours as well. He's been the producer behind this podcast. Don't forget to check out his videos as well. I'll see you guys very, very soon.